Looks like there's waves. Look at this thing. Woo! Oh. There it is. I think we are out there. Joyride is back, baby! <laughs> So we're here with a Campbell designed surfboard made by former pro Stuart Campbell and his son Ryan. Stuart Campbell's pretty interesting. After he was a pro surfer, he actually went into yacht making and he learned a lot of things over there, some trade secrets you could say, and he actually put them into this new surfboard tech that he's made called Exoflex Technology. And what we do know is that instead of a stringer, they use a mechanical spring through the center of the board. You might be wondering what a mechanical spring is, and that's a really good question, and one that I actually asked Stuart, and he basically just deadpanned me and refused to give an answer outright. So I guess I'll have to break one of these things in half to actually see what's going on inside. <laughs> The model that we're gonna be testing is called the, hold on, what is it called? The chunky toe. Yeah, we're gonna be using the chunky toe. It's kind of a step down. It's meant to be ridden, you know, two inches shorter than you. We've seen Ryan Campbell surf this board in like chest to head high surf, and he's just absolutely ripping. Like the board just looks like it's springing out of every single turn. Ryan also claims that the board held through the Australian winter. All right, it is go time. In truth, I haven't really done a turn in a while. I've kind of just been going straight the past month or so. So it'll be interesting to see if I can still put a couple uh, maneuvers together. Most people tie their leash string like this. Bring it up like this, loop it around, and tie it at the top. That works, but it leaves a lot of extra slack that is gonna come over your tail like this and this leash string can actually rip straight through the fiberglass and foam if it gets pulled in the wrong direction. So, here is how you should tie your leash string. Take your leash string, tie it off of the surfboard, loop it around, not at the top. So, you got this. Take the side that is not knotted, take a fin key, push it through. Now, you have a loop on each side. You wanna feed the leash through those two loops and close it just as you normally would. Now, it's not gonna go over the edge and it's double secured. And the best part of all is that it's easier now to transfer it to a different board. So if you take your leash off like this, pull it, poop, pop it straight out and throw it into another board, no retying required. That is your not so secret surf tip. So that was a super fun session at the little shore break, but unfortunately those are not the best conditions for testing a surfboard. I got a few waves where I could kind of do a turn, but not really. So we're basically rushing to the next spot, trying to get there before the tide goes bad and hopefully be able to do a couple turns and feel out the board properly.
so glad that we left that first spot and got in the car and drove down here. Um, we basically had two hours of like super peaky, short period, fun, punchy beach break. And most importantly, I got to feel out this board, which I am absolutely in love with. It is so fast and so springy. Like I was doing turns and coming out of them with so much more speed than I went in. It actually felt like kind of hard to keep up with it at some point. So <laughs> I know it was like kind of my first real session on it, but from what I felt, they've got something going on with this mechanical spring thing. So this session I surfed the AM1 Black Sticks. They're a super flexi fin, which really helps with speed generation. And they also have a bit of rake to them, which means that they're gonna hold in. So because this board itself is so springy and fast, I actually found that I didn't really need the extra sort of give from the fins. There were a couple occasions where they actually felt like they slid out a little bit too much and they, they didn't grip where I needed them to. So next session, I'm just gonna try a fin that's a little bit stiffer and yeah, we'll see how that goes. Today was super clean, incredibly fun, just peaky little tubes and corners everywhere and again the board went so well. There were a couple of waves where I definitely felt the epoxy getting caught up in the wind a little bit because it's so light, but otherwise in terms of like how it held in the wave, it was really, really good. I think that comes back to the rails which are really kind of pinched and refined. That's what allows an epoxy board, which is naturally buoyant and doesn't really want to penetrate the water, to dig in and really grip. I mostly felt it on like backside bottom turns. I guess the analogy would be kind of like scissors through gift wrap when you just get that glide going. And I really felt like I had the board knifing into the wall and sliding and generating speed up toward the lip so that I could do a turn. On the other hand, they're less forgiving. So there's definitely some times when you have a misstep and you can feel yourself catching. So I switched from the AM1 Black Sticks, the AM1 Honeycombs. It's basically just a little bit stiffer of a fin in the same exact template. And to me, these were kind of like the perfect blend. Like it gives just enough flex that you're able to generate a bit of speed, but it holds a bit better and it doesn't feel like it's gonna skid out. I can't really find a fault in this board. It's something that I would ride almost any time when the waves are fun. I think I've said enough about the mechanical spring, but whatever's going on in there, it seems to be working. You guys are gonna love this. Stuart and Ryan Campbell have decided to give a chunky toe away to one lucky Joyride viewer. Just subscribe to us on YouTube, send me an email at rollingyouth.com, and maybe you will get to try the mechanical spring for yourself. And if you want to talk more about surfboards or gear or whatever, just text this number and I'll hit you back.